So, Mike, are we starting to see that cuts, those cuts emerge in big tech? And does that make you a little bit more constructive on the sector into 23? Well, not yet. Uh, I mean, we're starting to see it. Uh, I think the, you know, the, look, this is one of the areas, I would say consumer, consumer goods in particular, and tech were the two areas of most egregious over-earning and uh, the margins as well as top line. And that just has to get wrung out. The thing that concerns me about tech companies, John, is that they're not good cost cutters traditionally, right? They're, they're growth companies. They tend to want to invest into these downturns. They, they want to invest you know, aggressively through all periods of time. And they're just not good at cost cutting. And so they're going to be late on that. They're probably not going to do enough. And so it'll take longer than you think. And so the margin degradation can be more severe in those areas. Now, there are parts of tech that have already gone through that. The other thing I would say is be careful about how you define tech, right? If you look at the top six or seven stocks in the S&P, we all know what they are. Only two of them are real tech companies. The other ones are communication services and consumer retail. But what about with consumer spending? We've seen that hang in there. That's come out better than expected, at least over the past uh, number of weeks in select industries. Does that make you change your view at all? Or is that basically uh, what's to be expected in the last gasps for the downturn that we see in the first quarter? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I think we're just seeing the last gasps, as you mentioned. I mean, part of that is holiday spend. OK, so, you know, it's the American way. We don't want to be Scrooge, people are going to spend money on the holidays. And I think they're going to probably hunker down. We've heard some cons large consumer retailers talk about that dynamic where they expect uh, demand to fall off sharply once the holiday season is over. So that's what we're going to be watching carefully. Um, we're pretty confident about interest rate sensitive areas like housing and autos. Those are pretty obvious, uh, you know, victims of the higher rates. But I think even broader speaking, we're expecting a pretty sharp downturn in consumption over the first uh, six months of this year at least for, as a stand, as a stance in terms of profitable spending, okay? Discounting will return. That's one of our themes for this year, which is why we think inflation will come down pretty sharply. So, Mike, with that in mind, do you and the team still believe there's about 20% of downside at the index level here? We do. We think uh, we think 3,000 is a, is a very achievable number, uh, given our, you know, confidence on our earnings forecast. And so, and that, you know, I would, ironically, I would say in the absence of, you know, a recession, meaning companies decide to not get off aggressively, that target uh, looks more achievable. That may sound counterintuitive, but that's the way we're mo modeling it today. So our bear case is actually kind of we avoid a recession, but not the slowdown. Right. Uh, that would be the 3000 scenario and $180 in earnings.